Hi, pre-algebra. Welcome to lesson 8.2, Reflections. Our last lesson, we looked at translations, and today we are looking at reflections. Um, every reflection has a line of reflection, and a line of reflection is very similar to a line of symmetry. And if you remember um, from symmetry, if you have a line of symmetry, if you fold if you fold the paper along or the thing along the line of symmetry, then the two sides would match up. A line of reflections that very a very similar way. If you were to fold like this, um, if you were to fold this coordinate grid in half along the line of reflection, the two figures would line up perfectly. So a line of reflection again is almost like a mirror image. And there's always um, a reflection is a mirror image, and there's a line where the reflection takes place. And I think if we get started, it will make sense. So we're going to do several together, and then I'm going to have you, I'm going to start some of the problems that you will finish. So we'll do some together, and then I'll start some, and you'll finish them, and then there may be one or two that you're going to do completely on your own. Okay, so it says draw and label the image using the given reflection. And one says a reflection in the y-axis. That means that the y-axis is our line of reflection. So I'm going to highlight that line. So a reflection is we're going to take this triangle and we're going to reflect it down over the line, uh, over the x-axis. And each point is in the reflection is equidistant from the line of reflection. So let me let me tell you what I mean. Okay, so line A or point A is one unit above the line of reflection. Well, we need to make um, the in the reflection, A is going to be one unit below. So we're going to reflect point A instead of being one unit above, it's one unit below. Now, when you reflect a line, we're gonna call this A prime. I think we went over this on our, um, in our translations. And A prime means the point A after the movement, after the reflection. Point B, so we're reflecting point B. Point B is one unit above the line of reflection, so we, the reflection will be one unit below. So that would be B prime. C prime is one, two, three, four units above. So the reflection will be four units below. One, two, three, four. And this is where C prime would be. All right, once I've got that, then I'm going to take my straight edge and connect them. So A connects to C. B connects to C and A connects to B. All right, so if you'll see, I've got my triangle, triangle ABC is the original, A prime, B prime, C prime is the reflection. And if you were to imagine, if we were to take this and fold it, this line and this line would line up, these two would line up, and then this diagonal will line up. So that's what I mean. It's kind of like a symmetry, a line of symmetry. So this is the reflection on the x-axis. Now, number two, I'm gonna have you do it on your own, but I wanna caution you about something, and that's, uh, that is that the reflection is now the y-axis. So the y-axis is right here, okay? So now, instead of measuring above and below, we're measuring to the right and to the left. So I'll get you started. Point S is one unit to the right. So S prime would be one unit to the left. So we're gonna put S prime here. So you put the other points and connect them, and then you will have a reflection <coughs> of this figure across the y-axis. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. Let's look at uh, number three. 
draw the image using the given reflection. The positions of two sticks, AC and BD, are shown in the coordinate plane. Draw the images A prime C prime and B prime D prime with Y equals one as the line of reflection. Okay, so Y equals one. That, remember, <clears throat> the line is gonna go through the Y axis at one. No matter what X is, Y equals one. So since it's Y, um, Y equals one, our line of reflection is going to be right here. So this line of reflection is a little different than the other, but it works the same way. So let's do A prime C prime first. C is one unit above. C prime will be one unit below. <clears throat> A is one, two, three units above. A prime is going to be three units below. One, two, three. And that's going to be A prime. So I'm going to go ahead and connect those because A and C is a, they called it a stick. It's a line segment, but there is A prime, C prime. Now B, we need B and D. B is two units above the line of reflection. So we need to go two units below, one, two. And that is B prime. D is, my B prime, may, my label may be in the way, but D is one, two, three, four, five units above. So I need to go five units below. One, oops, one, two, three, four, five. So there's D prime. And then I'm gonna connect B and D. It was a little bit in the way, but that's okay. Okay. So the point of this one I wanted to show you is the line of reflection doesn't have to be on the axis. It can be any line, and, but it works the same way. <clears throat> Number four, we're gonna get started. Um, I'm gonna get you started, but then you're gonna finish it on your own. It says figure A, B, C, D is drawn in the coordinate plane. It is repeated first by reflecting it in the y-axis to ob obtain figure A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. The image is further repeated by reflecting it in the x-axis to obtain the figure A double prime, B double prime, C double prime, D double prime. Complete the table by finding the position of each of the other images. So our first, uh, <clears throat> Then draw and label figure A, B, C, D, and the respective images on the coordinate plane. Okay, so if we were to do A, B, C, D, negative one and three, negative one and three, that is A. B is negative three and one, B three, That's B. C is negative six and one. Let's see. And D is negative six and four. All right, and that's D. Oh, so we've got a um, unusual shape. So let me make sure I'm in the right place. Negative three, negative one and three, negative three and one, negative six and one, negative six and four, yep. Okay, so then we need to connect them in order. A, B, C, D. A to B, B to C, uh, C to D. And then D to A. So it's an irregular shape. All right, there's a quadrilateral. So the first reflection is in the y-axis. So I'm gonna do that in yellow. Whoops, you can see what I was doing, sorry about that. The first reflection is in the y-axis. All right. So since it's in the y-axis, A prime is going to be one unit away. This is A prime. 
Uh, B prime is three units away. C prime is then going to be three units further away, right there. And then D prime is up here. It's one, two, three, four. Let me start here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So then we connect them. A to B, B to C, C to D. Oh, I forgot to label that B prime, C prime, D prime, and then D to A. All right, so let's look at our points now. Um, when we went across the y-axis, A prime is now 1 and 3. And then B prime is now 3 and 1. C prime, go over 6, up 1, so 6 and 1. And D prime, we go over 6, up 4, 6 and 4. So let's look at what happened when we reflected it. The x-axis, or the x value, went from negative 1 to positive 1, but the y value stayed the same. The y value stayed the same, and that's because we're reflecting across the y-axis. So the y doesn't change, but the x does. OK, when it says, I think the directions are not super clear on a, um, a double prime, b double prime. But it says the image is further repeated by reflecting it in the x-axis. So now you're going to take, you're not going to take the original, you're going to take this, the reflection, and you're going to reflect it further in the x-axis. So here's the x-axis. So I'll get you started, but you need to finish. So we are going to reflect this down here. So C double prime. C single prime is one above, C double prime would be one below. So you're going to do the same thing for all the others and then write what the points are, okay? All right, so that is number six. I got you started in number six. Uh, no, four, excuse me, four. Number five, I'm gonna get you started on number five. It says a graphic designer is drawing a logo in a coordinate plane, some of the points are A, B, C, D, and it gives us specifics. Draw the line X equals two on the same coordinate plane. The designer reflects the logo, logo in the line X equals two. What are the coordinates of A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime? Draw it on the coordinate plane. Okay, there's a lot of directions, but basically what it's asking you to do is reflect this figure across the line x equals 2, label it a, label a, b, c, d to a prime, b prime, c prime. And, and that's what it's asking you to do. So the first thing is I would always highlight your line of reflection. That really helps kind of keep you on, on the track. Now when it says x equals 2, <clears throat> that is a line that is going through the x-axis at 2. No matter what y is, x equals 2. So since it's going through the x-axis, it is going to be a vertical line. Now that you have your line of reflection, I want you to reflect this figure across it. Label it and label the points, and, and that's all you have to do. All right, so that's number five. Number six, we're gonna do together. All right, a symmetrical object, A, B, C, D, is drawn in the coordinate plane. Three vertices of the object are at positions A, B, C, and it gives us the points. Draw A says draw and label points A, B, C. Okay, so we are going to draw A, B, C. A is negative three, three. So we're gonna go back three, up three. This is A. B is at three and negative three. So I'm going to go forward three and then down three. One, two, three. C is three and negative five. 
So I'm going to go to three and then go down five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this was B, this was C. All right, so I do know that A and B, because it says symmetrical object and it gives its name, A, B, C, D. A is connected to B, B is connected to C, C is connected to D, and then D is connected back to A. So I'm going to go ahead and just draw partially what this looks like. So we've got A is connected to B, and then B is connected to C. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so we've drawn that. I did a little extra. It says point B is the reflection of point A in the line of symmetry. Find the equation of the line of symmetry. All right, so what it, what it is saying is there is a line that you can fold where A and B will be completely, will fold up on top of each other and, and lay on top of each other. And so the line of symmetry is gonna go through the, the, the middle part of that, of this, of this line. And right in the middle is the origin, okay? And so we need this to fold up. So my line of symmetry, I'm actually going to do it with a, a, a highlighter, is going to look like this. Let's see if I can get this. That's a little off, but you get the idea. Okay, <clears throat> so this is our line of symmetry. If you could imagine folding it, this is your fold line. These would line up with each other. The edges would line up with each other. All right, so point B is the reflection. Here's our line of symmetry. It says find the equation of the line of symmetry. Do you remember y equals mx plus b? All right, so let's do y equals mx plus b. The first thing we need to look for is the slope. Now here's the point, here's our next point. You have to go up one, rise one, run one. So my slope was up one over one, up one over one, up one over one. So my slope is one. So y equals one x plus b is our y-intercept. Our y-intercept is at the origin, which is zero. So that does not look very nice. We need to fix it because we do not say one x, we just say x. So this would be y equals x plus zero. But we can simplify this further because x plus zero is x. So our line of symmetry is y equals x, the equation of the line of symmetry. OK, then it says, find the coordinates of point D. Draw A, B, C, D on the same coordinate plane given above. All right, so think about this. If this is our line of symmetry, if we were to fold this in half, this half would li line up with this half. And then this is going to line up over here. And so how will it look? Can you imagine it is symmetrical? So it, if it goes out, then down, this is going to go out and then sort of down. But let's see. It's going to be like a, um, a uh, trapezoid. All right. So we have got to go here, I believe. D. Yep, that's it. All right, so D is right there. So we are going to connect D to A. I think that's right. Is that right? I'm wondering if it's okay. Let me, double, let me double check that. All right. I think that's right. Okay, so this, find the coordinates of point D, draw A, B, C, D. Okay, so the coordinates of D are going to be negative five and three. All right, that's why we did this one because it was a little bit tricky finding D. All right, seven, guess what? We are omitting seven. It is a kite and there are a lot of constraints. It is, we are just going to omit it. All right, number eight. 
I'm going to get you started, but you're going to finish this on your own. Figure PQRS in a coordinate plane is symmetrical about the line y equals 1 minus x. They're just saying that this line is 1 minus yx. They're giving us the equation of the line. If the coordinates of P are negative 4, 1, uh, if the coordinates of P are negative 4, 1, draw and label Q. If the coordinates of S are negative 3, negative 4, find the coordinate of R. Okay, so the figure PQRS. So P is connected to Q, Q is connected to R, R is connected to S, and then S is back to P. We got S, P. All right, so here is our line of, of um, reflection. If P is over here, Q is going to be across the line of reflection. And this one, instead of going, it's going in a diagonal direction. So I am just noticing from here, we are going diagonal through two boxes, right? So this one, we're going to go diagonal through two boxes as well, the other way. So Q should be somewhere around here. All right, S, from here, this, oh, this is interesting. Okay, because this is going through diagonal through one, two, three, four boxes. Oops, I'm stuck. I'm getting stuck. It's going to catch up in a minute. All right, so again, one, two, three, four. It's going diagonal through four boxes. So we need to go diagonal through four boxes the other way. So that will help you get P, um, Q and R, label Q and R, and you'll need to connect them. And then describe the figure PQRS. They're just asking, what is the name? What is it? Is it a square? Is it a rectangle? Is it a trapezoid? Is it a parallelogram? What is it? So just tell what it is. All right, class, that is it for reflections. I hope this makes sense. I actually like uh, reflections. I think they're interesting and kind of fun to work with. So go ahead and finish those um, and turn them in. and. I will talk to you later. Have a great one. Bye.